Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, Mel Ray here. If you're not a subscriber, make sure to subscribe. Just gonna start that off right off the bat. Just subscribe, hit the bell, notifications, you know the drill. And if you already are a subscriber, welcome back. And thank you for subscribing and being a part of my little social media family. So today we are going to be doing a 0 to 100 video. So no expense spared. We are going to just cake our faces and put hair extensions in and just the whole nine yards as glam, glam, glam as you could possibly go. So this is my natural texture of hair, no extensions, and I don't have my nails in. I feel naked. So let's just begin, shall we? And just a side note, I'm filming in a new room today, and I live in a concrete brick exterior building. So there's a lot of echoing in the room. I don't, I don't really know how to get rid of that. So yeah, so sorry in advance. So let's just dive right in. I'm gonna start off using a primer and the best glam primer ever is the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Primer. It's such a thick, tacky, sticky, primer that just smooths and fills all your pores and fine lines and makes your makeup last all day and just makes your skin feel so much smoother and just creates an amazing canvas. So now for foundation, I'm going to use the Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation in the shade 1.1. So this is definitely a medium coverage foundation. It's not full coverage by any means, but I don't really own any super full coverage foundation. So yeah. So now we're going to color correct and the color correctors that I'm using right now are the Smashbox color correcting sticks in look less tired and get less red. So I'm going to use the green under my nose and on my chin and then the peach shade on the dark circles and I'm just going to use my finger to pat this in because I find that if you use a brush or a beauty blender that it shears it out too much and kind of defeats the purpose of the color correcting. And now I like to apply my eye primer before my under eye concealer, so I'm going to use the MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. Now it wouldn't be a 0 to 100 routine without Tarte Shape Tape, so I'm going to use that today in the shade Fair. And then for other areas that I need to conceal, I'm going to use the Urban Decay Naked Skin in Medium Light. And I'll just blend that all in with a beauty blender. And as you set, I'm going to use my favorite setting powder of the moment, which is the Kat Von D Transparent Setting Powder. So I don't usually put this much powder on, but for the sake of the tutorial today, I'm going to. But I'm not going to dust this off. I'm just going to keep on pressing with my damp beauty blender into the skin so that it's really absorbed into the skin and just merges with my concealer and my foundation so that it lasts all day. And now for bronzer, this product has been in my arsenal forever. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. So I'm just going to apply this to the tops of my cheeks 
and my forehead and I'm using a nice big fluffy bronzing brush and this is the Sephora Pro Featherweight Powder Brush number 91. So I'm also going to run it down my neck just so that it all blends together nicely. So now for contour, I'm going to use the Makeup Geek Contouring Powder. This is in the shade Infidelity. And the brush that I'm using is the Angled Blush Brush from the Morphe Rose Gold Collection. Is that thing still available? I don't know. If it is, you need to get it. It's so good. So now for contouring my nose, I'm just using a tapered blending brush. I find this gives the most diffused natural look. I say diffused natural look and then I just did the most like ham, glam, snatched nose contour of all time, which is so weird for me because I hardly ever contour my nose. Oh my God, it looks tiny. That looks weird. Do I look weird with a nose that thin? I look like I'm on drag race or something. <laughs> and then for blush, I'm using the Spellbound Blush from Makeup Geek. And this is a Morphe M509 brush. So I'm gonna run it all the way up into my temples and down into the contour so that it's all nicely blended. And now for highlight, the holy grail over the top glam highlight is obviously the Huda Beauty, I can't say that, Huda Beauty 3D highlighter palette in Pink Sands. So I'm going to use the cream shade in Capri first and I'm just going to tap that on. Don't swirl it when you blend it because there's powder on our skin right now so we don't want to lift our foundation and our concealer and everything. And that is already like totally intense. And I look like an Egyptian golden statue right now. <laughs> We don't even need to make it more intense, but because it's 0 to 100, not 0 to 75, we're going to kick it up a notch. So now I'm going to dig into Santorini here with my Anastasia A23 highlighting brush, and oh god. <laughs> this has taken a very extreme turn. This is like legit, like crazy, crazy highlight. So now for brows, I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in Medium Brown with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. So now I'm going to do my eyebrows. I just like to use a tiny bit of product and just build it up to create a more natural look. And yeah, just do a lot of quick little strokes. And now I'm going to grab my Tarte Pro palette and I'm going to start with the shade Bold and just apply this to my crease area, blending it up and out to create a transition shade. And am I crazy when I say that this palette smells like the chocolate bar palette, kind of, just not as sweet? I've never heard anyone say that, but it smells good. So now using the same brush, I'm going to go in with the shade Edgy, which is a beautiful warm chocolate shade, and I'm just going to deepen up that crease area just so that it's more of an ombre blended soft, subtle look, you know? It's always hard to explain what you're doing with eyeshadow. You feel me?
And now I'm going to go in with this gorgeous burgundy purple shade and apply it to my outer V area using a domed, domed brush. I don't know where my head was going there, my B. And I'm just going to apply this nice and opaque to my outer corner and then just blend it out. And now using a pencil brush, I'm going to pick up the black shade called Punk and just apply this into the very, 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 very inner corner, not quite going all the way over top of the burgundy shade, but just enough to darken that outer corner, creating lots of drama. And then I'm going to also bring it down to my outer lower lash line. And now I'm just taking that very beautiful, again, berry shade and applying that right underneath, blending these two together. And to finish it off, I'm going back in with the shade Bold and applying that over top to blend it nicely. And now I'm just grabbing some Soft Ochre MAC Paint Pot. You can use a concealer for this as well. And I'm just going to carve out a nice cut crease, but just a half cut crease on the inner part of my eye or lid. I cannot talk today or ever. And I'm using the Stilla Magnificent Metals in Gold Rush and I'm just applying this to the blank space on my lid. And then just using my finger to kind of blend it slightly into the eyeshadow. And now I'm using my favorite eyeliner ever which is the Matte Ink Matte Holy crap, I really can't talk today. It's the NYX Matte Liquid Liner, holy crap. So now I'm just applying some eyelashes. These ones, I believe, if I remember correctly, are the, are they the Iconic Lights from House of Lashes? I think so, I think so. And now just applying some liquid lippy. This one is called Holy Chic and it is from Too Faced and it's just freaking amazing. So now we're going to curl the hair and first I'm going to prep my hair using Living Proof Restore Instant Protection Weightless Heat and UV Protection. So now the barrel iron that I use is a just a Remington. I'm pretty cheap when it comes to hair products. And this is I think a one and a half or one and a quarter inch barrel. And I just use my natural part when my hair falls in the morning or after the shower. And I grab big sections of hair because I have thin, 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 thin hair. And I just, as you can see, and I just curl away from the face. And my bangs never stand. <laughs> and then I just do that all over my head. And then I hairspray my hair before I brush it out and I use the Got To Be a Freeze hairspray. <laughs> so now I just use my fingers and I shake out all the curls. So these hair extensions are from My Fantasy Hair. They're pre-curled because I prefer a looser wave so I always kind of keep them curled. These hair extensions are freaking amazing. I do have a coupon code if you guys want to purchase them. 
I do receive a small commission if you do purchase them using my link, but if you don't want to, that's cool. I still recommend them. So I'm just gonna clip these in and yeah, straightforward. Now I forgot to hit record, but what I'm doing now is just adding a few bits of back combing because I have very, very, very fine hair. So I need to add some volume. And this is the only way to do it. Now I look pretty. So now, as I said, I don't have any nails on and I need nails. I always have gel nails and in between appointments, I just use like the stick on, glue on ones that you get from your drugstore. So I'm just gonna do that and then we will be done. Okay, so now that we've got our hair, our makeup and our nails, there's one last step before we're zero to 100 and that is setting our face. And that is it. That is my zero to 100 video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, as I said earlier, make sure to give me a big thumbs up. They help so much, those thumbs. You don't even know. And comment below and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.